hop into the car on a Friday night. I want... Good morning and welcome back to my channel where I am documenting my journey on the Optavia 5 and 1 plan. And today is Saturday and I am getting ready to go to my Weight Watchers meeting with my best friend Gina. Now, Optavia Weight Watchers in a nutshell, I am following the Optavia 5-in-1 plan. However, I am a lifetime member of Weight Watchers, so I go to support my friend who's on her own weight loss journey through Weight Watchers and as extra accountability. If you have any questions about the Optavia program, please feel free to reach out to me. My information is listed in the description box below. So it is a rainy, gloomy Saturday and I just weighed myself. I know I'm supposed to wait until the meeting and it looks like I didn't lose any weight this week, at least from my weigh-in from last week. And that is really upsetting to me because I was on plan and I really felt like I was losing weight. But what I think is I am having um, some constipation actually for the last couple days. And I think that is why it is not being reflected on the scale. I know you're not really supposed to have too many bars if you get into this predicament. Um, I've heard that that can cause the problem, but I usually don't have too many bars a day, two at the most, usually just one. I'm going to make a quick shake to take to the meeting and I will drink that after I weigh in. So it's so frustrating. That's why I hate the scale. I know that I have been losing weight because I have felt it in my clothes. So it's so frustrating when the scale doesn't reflect your hard work. But I know if I just keep going on, it will catch up. Anyway, I really like going to the meetings when I know I'm having a big loss, but I guess that's what the meetings are for, right? Okay, I'm gonna make my shake and then head out the door for my meeting. After my meeting, I'm going to go to Aldi's for just a mini grocery haul and I'll show you what I get when I come home. See you then. Jump into the car on a Friday night I wanna drive with you Looking for a bar in the nearest town I've never seen a sky so blue Well, I am back from Weight Watchers and Aldi, and I am so frustrated because I gained 0.8 pounds, and I was good all week. Now, last night, we went to Texas Roadhouse for dinner. Now, if you look at the dining out guide, a lean and green at Texas Roadhouse is a six ounce sirloin and a side of green beans, and that is what I got but the beans were pretty salty and I added salt to the steak. So I'm thinking that probably it's a combination of, of that problem plus some maybe some water weight from the salt. But I also know that when I'm filming, I'm really good with measuring and making sure I'm very precise, but when I'm not filming, I have been getting a little lax. I am not counting all of my condiments the way I should, and I'm not necessarily measuring things out. So that is what I'm going to do because I really, really, really want to meet my goals. I wanna quit fooling around and just get it done. All right, well, I hate the scale sometimes, you know, to be perfectly honest, especially if I know I'm I'm still doing pretty good, but I'm gonna crack down and really be precise, at least for the next two weeks. All right, now back to my grocery haul. Um, I'm gonna start with the protein and look what Aldi had. Is this not cool? So it's chicken breast skewers, sweet chili lime, 
um, seasoning. And I am going to have Mike put these on the grill tonight for Arlena Green. And then I will uh, measure out uh, six ounces of grilled chicken breast. I'll count the sauce as one condiment and probably have it with a side salad. So maybe some zucchini. I don't know. We'll see. But I thought that was quite a find. I think these were only like $7.99 or something like that. But how cool is that? So that is one protein. I picked up a couple cans of albacore tuna. Um, I like to make salads with tuna on it and that will work out very nicely. And I got some cottage cheese. I make an Alfredo sauce out of cottage cheese and I will link that uh, recipe video up here but I also just love cottage cheese. And I got some regular cheese. Now, I think this cheese tray from Aldi is really cool and it was pretty affordable. So if you watched my previous video, you know that tomorrow is Mother's Day and actually today is Mother's Day because that's when I am posting this video. So to all you mothers out there, happy Mother's Day. But anyway, so it's tomorrow for me and my kids are coming over and I bought eight pounds of crab legs at Sam's Club and Mike is gonna cook up the crab legs and I bought some stuff to make salads. So there will be that um, and that's what I'm gonna have, but not everybody is on a diet plan. So I bought these um, cheese slices and um, I got some crackers. I got some of these, um, I haven't tried these before from Aldi, these toasted uh, crackers, so they look pretty good. Um, so I have that for the kids. And then I also um, am going to set out some pistachios. Now you can have nuts as an optional snack. So I may have a couple, we'll see. And then I also got a bag of pretzels just to lay out so that people can munch. But I'll get back to my Mother's Day dinner in a second. But let me finish with the protein part of my Aldi grocery haul. All right, so you saw the skewers and the cottage cheese and the tuna and the cheese slices. So I got some shredded cheese. I got the um, part skim mozzarella and I got the reduced fat sharp cheddar. And then I also got some plain mild cheddar and actually this is for a recipe I'm gonna make for my kids tomorrow at Mother's Day. I am going to make the red lobster rolls with garlic and butter and it calls for um, regular cheddar cheese. So that's what I'm gonna use that for. And then I got a dozen eggs. Now what is significant about the eggs and my next thing I'm gonna show you which is um, some 96% lean ground beef. Now, it's been a while since I've made Revolution Rolls, and I will link the recipe for the Revolution Rolls up here as well, but they're really easy to make. You use three eggs, three tablespoons of light cream cheese, um, some cream of tartar, and you whip them up and you bake them, and one serving size is two rolls. And it's really nice to have a burger on the Revolution Rolls, and that's what I'm going to do. So today, after I'm done showing you my grocery haul, I'm going to make this into probably four patties and freeze them so that I can have them ready when I make my Revolution Rolls. And the Revolution Rolls freeze really well also. So that should be coming up in an upcoming video, but I'm definitely in the mood to have a burger now that it's turning into summer. All right, now was that all the protein? I think, I think that was all the protein. Okay, moving on to vegetables. So I did get a couple bags of sweet butter lettuce and I'm probably gonna have a side salad with my crab legs tomorrow. And also I'm going to have a side salad with my chicken skewers tonight. I also got a head of lettuce, so I'm not sure which I'm gonna use, but 
any of my kids that want a salad to go along with their crab legs are going to be welcome. I have the stuff to make Caesar. I have Caesar dressing, I have Parmesan cheese, and I have croutons. So I can whip up an easy Caesar salad for anybody who wants one tomorrow. Okay, so more vegetables. So I got the zucchini and I do quite a few things with zucchini, but one of my favorite things to do is make zucchini noodles. And I just had that the other day with some shrimp. When I bought the crab legs at Sam's Club, I actually picked up a big bag of large pre-cooked frozen shrimp. And I needed a quick lean and green. I thawed out seven ounces of the cooked shrimp. I sauteed it a little bit on the stove and I um, spiralized a zucchini and sauteed that on the stove. And then I served it with two tablespoons of Rayo's Alfredo. Now, Rayo's Alfredo, two tablespoons is one healthy fat. When you have shrimp, shrimp are a leanest, you can actually have two healthy fats. Now I used one fat um, elsewhere in the day, but next time I make it, I could use four tablespoons of the Rayo's Alfredo, and that might make it even better. So I'm definitely gonna have that meal again coming up soon. And I got some more red peppers. Um, the other day when I made the chicken teriyaki with um, peppers over cauliflower rice, that was really good. I definitely want to repeat that. So I got more peppers. And I picked up some mushrooms. Not quite sure what I'm going to do. I know I saw a recipe for um, a mushroom cream sauce to go over uh, spiralized noodles or over the hearts of palm noodles and you make that with the cottage cheese. So that's an idea too. I'm gonna have to explore that. And then I got some radishes. Sometimes I think these are just tasty, cut up with some salt. And I'm gonna put out a little veggie tray tomorrow too for the kids and for me. I got a cucumber. Again, probably just gonna slice this up and serve it on my veggie tray. And I got some grape tomatoes. Again, probably going on the veggie tray. These are like candy. And I think, oh, no. I got another thing of broccoli. Now these stay fresh pretty long. Um, I like to have fresh broccoli when I make steaks. And I have still a three pack of the petite sirloin from my last Aldi grocery haul. And I will probably serve that with some fresh broccoli steamed in my Pampered Chef steamer. Okay, is that all the vegetables? Okay. And then some miscellaneous items. I got some unsweetened almond milk. Now that the cereal's back in stock, this will come in handy. I love having the cereal for breakfast. So I got that and you know, half a cup is half of a condiment. And then I picked up the light spreadable butter. Now one tablespoon of this is one healthy fat as opposed to like, I think it's like one teaspoon of regular butter. So tomorrow for my crab legs, I can have two tablespoons of butter to go with my crab legs. And Mike has the little butter warmers with the tea lights, so that will be good. And I already showed you the pistachios that's going out tomorrow. Ah, uh, I got some more atomic spicy uh, dill pickles. These are so good, especially if you like spicy like I do. And I needed some baking powder. Now, baking powder does go into some recipes for my fueling hacks. You can turn shakes into little cupcakes and you use a little bit of baking powder. But I specifically got this because I'm going to make the red lobster rolls for um, the kids tomorrow with the crab legs. And I picked up a thing of all-purpose flour for that. And I'll show you uh, some of the stuff I got that is not on the plan because why not? I showed you the pub style pretzels that's going out tomorrow for the party. You saw the crackers I got the kids. Um, I picked up some penne noodles for when I'm making something like Alfredo or I'm making um, spaghetti squash 
uh, with meatballs and rayo sauce. I can make pasta for Mike or Michael. And the boys love their uh, smoked sausage, so I picked up some more smoked brats. And I like to buy some food that Michael can make pretty easily. And I picked up a couple chicken pot pies. You can make these in the air fryer. Now they don't list that here, but I know you can do it and I, I think it turns out good. I'll have to look that up. But Michael can throw one of these in the air fryer for a quick dinner. And I picked up some regular hamburger buns. Now when I make my revolution rolls and I make my burgers, then I can make Mike and Michael their burgers with the regular buns. And I got Michael his Swiss cake rolls. He likes to call these ho-hos. These were an old treat when he was little and I recently started buying them again and he really likes them. And then looks like last but not least, he also has been really liking saltines. So they're so cheap. They're like $1.69 for this whole box, but that's something that he can snack on. So I'm gonna put all of this away and then I'm going to have my second fueling of the day. I am going to have the smoky barbecue crunchers. And then I will probably shower at some point and look a little bit better than I do right now. And I will be back for my third fueling. See you then. All right, so it is time to make the lean and green. And so, like I said, I'm going to be using the sweet chili lime chicken breast skewers. So Mike is heating up the grill. I'm gonna take these out of the packaging and put them on a plate for him to grill. And then for my green, I'm going to have a salad. And what I think I'm gonna do is two cups of lettuce with one quarter cup of chopped tomatoes and one quarter cup of cucumber. And then I'm going to maybe put a tablespoon of Parmesan cheese on there and I'm going to use my healthy fat because chicken breast is a leaner, I get one healthy fat. I am going to use that for my salad dressing and I'm going to use the Ken's Light uh, Greek vinaigrette. So that is what I am going to do. It's not very complicated. I'm going to turn the camera down so you can see how I prepare that. And then when everything is done, I'm going to serve Mike's and Michael, if he wants some, with some rice on the side. All right, well, let me turn the camera down and I will get to it. to be yours
looking for a bar. In All right, well, I just had my lean and green and it was really good. I liked the chicken breast skewers. I thought the chili lime on that was really good. And I had that with my big salad and it was great. So Mike has been working all day putting together a new patio set so that we can have it ready for Mother's Day. We're supposed to have pretty good weather tomorrow, so I'm hoping that we can use it. Tomorrow we're gonna mow the lawn and clean off the patio and put the new set up and it should be really fun. So Mike and I are going to relax for a little bit. You'll see what I have for my fourth fueling and then I will be back for my last fueling. All right, I will see you then. And I'm so lucky to be yours. And you're taking me high. Ain't nobody like All right, well, it is time for my last fueling. And I am going to have the cinnamon sugar sticks. So it's been kind of a non-eventful day. I went to Weight Watchers, I went to Aldi's, I had my grocery haul, I put everything away. Mike is putting together my new patio set and we are getting ready for Mother's Day. And like I said, I know this is going to air on Mother's Day, so again, Happy Mother's Day out there to all of you guys. Um, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. I've got many things in the works and hopefully I will have a good day and I will stay on plan. Oh, and then there's Leo. Leo, what did you get me for Mother's Day? He's my good boy. So Mike and I are going to finish watching a movie. We are watching the old Bram Stoker's Dracula from 1992 with Keanu Reeves and Winona Ryder. It is definitely the best adaption in my opinion. If you like this video, please like it below and subscribe to my channel and tick that notification bell so you are alerted every time I upload a new video. Good night, and I will see you next time.